This is your marketplace. Attention outlet shoppers. I shop at outlet because I get deals. Good deals. I think I'm getting a better deal. But when is a deal not a deal? One's from retail, one's from the outlet. Can you spot the difference? You're not really often getting anything that's a big bargain. Very informative. I'm glad I've met you here. <laughs> Plus winners or losers. Totally betrayed. It was it was out and out false advertising. And get ready, get set. It's a fashion time bomb. Marketplace, always in step with the time. We're taking you on a road trip to one of the largest outdoor outlet malls in the country. Outlet Collection at Niagara. Shopping for the truth. Bargain hunting at outlet malls is all the rage these days. Why do you shop at outlets? I shop at outlets because I get deals. Good deals. The selection and the brands that are here. Big names and popular brands promising high fashion looks for less. So do you think you're getting a good deal outlet shopping? I think I'm getting a better deal, yeah. Yes, we know yeah, we're getting a good deal. deal. Sounds good, but is there something you're not being told? We're going to let you in on some fashion industry secrets that'll help you score a real deal. So what do you think about the quality of the stuff that you're getting here at the outlet compared to the retail location? I think they're pretty much the same. Oh, I don't think there's any difference whatsoever. So are we Could getting you know? a better deal or are we getting screwed? So this is recording. To find out, we're taking you undercover, heading into four popular outlet stores. Coach, Kate Spade, J. Crew, and Banana Republic. Time to go shopping. First stop, Coach. So many sales in here. There's markdowns everywhere. A household name when it comes to purses. This is the Kelsey and it's $2.95. We pick one up from the outlet and pick up a similar purse from a Coach retail store. Yeah, I'm gonna take this one. So are you getting the same retail quality from popular brands just at a lower price? We take our purses to someone who knows fashion inside out. Clothing designer Hillary McMillan. Okay, let's start with these red coach purses. One's from retail, one's from the outlet. Can you spot the difference? I'm looking at the quality of the zippers. I'm looking at the lining that they've chosen, the stitch work around the seams as well. Same label, two different bags. That's because one of them was made just for the outlets. And I'm also noticing how this inside of this bag actually has the coach monogrammed on the lining, whereas this one doesn't, which kind of leads me to think that this is a little bit more higher quality than this one. Whether made for retail or outlet, Coach insists all of its products are made from the finest quality leathers and fabrics. What's the number one difference, would you say? I would say the leather, really. This one is heavier, it's a little bit better. This one is a little bit lighter, so that's kind of, this one will weather better and this one won't as much. Last longer. Yep. Her verdict? This one's retail and this one's outlet. Well, you are correct. Yay! <laughs> Are they the only ones pulling a fashion fast one? To find out, we're off to outlet number two. J. Crew, a popular preppy label. Will they fess up to the differences? Hi, how you doing? We pick up this men's merino wool sweater and track down a sales clerk. You want to find anything from the retail division here at the factory store? We are all exclusively owned. Oh, so it's, so it's all made So it's all made for retail, yeah. Oh, okay. So it's not any of the retail's leftovers, none of that stuff. So, not the same as retail, but what about the quality? Is there a difference in the quality? A slight difference. The quality is still great. Really? Still great quality? To find out if that's true, I'm going to one of the fashion capitals of the world, New York City. To meet up with a bargain shopping expert who's going to reveal what the stores would rather you didn't know. Meet Mark Elwood. What do you make of the quality of the products that you're getting at outlet stores versus a retail location? This stuff was largely made just to be sold cheaply, so they're going to cut corners. So how can you spot the difference? It's really, really, really simple. Can you see there's a, there is one of those labels has two diamonds on it. Mm -hmm. And that yeah. says this was made for the outlet. Do you think that most people know 
that when they're going into an outlet, they're not getting the same retail merchandise. This is the trick of the outlet. Almost no one realizes or wants to realize that when you walk into an outlet store, you're not really often getting anything that's a big bargain. I think that's really unfair. J. Crew doesn't think so. They say they make sure their outlet products preserve the quality and design you expect from their brand. All right, I'm going. This one is retail, and this one's outlet. But fashion designer Hillary McMillan isn't fooled. Tags tell you where things are made a little more intricately. See on this one, this one's kind of has a lot more information than this one here. Hillary says the retail sweater a better buy. Softer, so it has a softer hand, so mm -hmm. the feeling is a little bit better. Will it last longer? Yeah, 100%. If you take care of it, it'll last longer. We break the news about our findings. The quality of what you're getting at the outlet is not the same as the retail location. Oh, that's sad. <laughs> no, I, I was thinking I was getting the same, the same quality. Well, that sucks. <laughs> You didn't That's know? A, no, actually, I didn't. And I'm feeling coming. ripped off yeah. right now. Me too. See those two diamonds? Okay, yeah. That's how you can tell. Oh. Factory outlet only has those two diamonds. Oh, wow. Good to know. Okay. So there you go. See, now I learned you know. something while I shop. You sure did. <laughs> Next stop, Kate Spade, a fashion icon with over 450 stores around the world. They all hang back to work at 50 and extra 20% off. Lots of deals here, too. We pick up a wallet here at the outlet and one from the retail store. First of all, I want you to look at this. Oh, can you see that the logos are not the same? Yes, clearly, yes. One this is larger has a... and one has a little button. Yeah. With Kate Spade, this gem tells you it was made for retail. The stamped version, you're only going to find that at the outlets. Our fashion expert can easily tell the difference in quality. All right, so what I'm looking here is at the leather. Um, that's kind of a big dead giveaway for me. This leather is nicer than this leather in my opinion. I have decided, I think that this one is retail and this one's outlet. Right, again. In terms of longevity and lasting, this one's a better bang for your buck. We've got one more stop, Banana Republic's factory outlet. They promise the brand's look for less. So what do we find here? We pick up this pair of men's pants and buy a similar pair from one of their retail stores. But when we ask them about the difference… It's like if it doesn't sell, it'll go there. Say we had a coat that wasn't selling well, so all the leftovers would go to the outlet from so all the So the leftovers go to yeah, the outlet. Yeah, yeah. Really? Our fashion expert says there are obvious differences between the outlet and retail pants we bought. So these are a plastic button and that is a metal clasp. They are different zippers though. This one has the label on it, on the actual zipper tag, it says Banana Republic. And this one just says YKK, which is a brand of zippers that anyone can buy. Okay. So that leads me to think that this is a more high quality product. They spent more time and money on the little things in here. So Hillary, what's your answer? These are retail and these are outlet. She's right, again. And Banana Republic confirms the products in its outlet stores are never sold at its retail stores. But you don't have to be an expert to see the difference. If you look a little closer, you'll see these three diamonds on their label. Similar to J. Crew, this means they're made just for the Banana Republic outlet. That's a tip we want to share with shoppers. That means it's factory only. Oh, is that right? It's I very know. informative. I'm glad I met you here. <laughs> Next time I'll be looking for those diamonds now. That's what we're all about at Marketplace. I think it's a ripoff then. It's, uh, it's just not being fair to the consumers. In the U.S., Banana Republic's parent company is being sued for misleading customers into thinking they're getting retail quality at a discount. I'm not surprised that practices like this have resulted in lawsuits because I think people feel ripped off. It may not be illegal, but it feels kind of unfair. Some outlets do sell retail for less. But chances are, what you're going to find at most outlet stores is made just for them. Some of the estimates, between 60 and 70 percent, up to 85 percent of items in an outlet store were never seen anywhere else. 
But our expert says that might not stop people from trying to find a great deal. I call it Viagra because- Viagra? Viagra. What is Viagra? We have a chemical response to a sale sign. Our brains are pre-programmed to go crazy when we see a sale. The problem is you're probably going to get a better deal shopping the sale at a department store than spending the day browsing an outlet mall. But if you're still planning on taking that road trip to the outlets, pack this advice. If you see a price in an outlet store that's 20 bucks, that product was developed to sell at 20 bucks. It was costed that way, the raw materials, the labor. That tells you that it could be really cute, but is it gonna last forever? I doubt it. Think you're a bargain hunter? You may be the target. It was out and out false advertising. And we take a retro shopping trip and step on some toes. Deal or no deal? Spot the differences between outlet and retail products at facebook.com slash CBC Marketplace. This is your Marketplace. Ready, set, it's a Marketplace time bomb, circa 1975. Fashion forward, retro style. High heels, platforms, boots. If they're popular, there's bound to be controversy. And experts who'll predict dire things, like you'll be a dangerous driver. Negative heel shoes, they're called. The first ones, earth shoes, were designed by a Danish yoga teacher, Anna Kalso. They were to make walking more natural, like walking barefoot in the sand. I was looking for something helping people to breathe better, and this is a posture for breathing. And when you take this on, you are standing in a lotus posture. And they feel a lightness, get less tired, and are better off in getting rid of the pollution they breathe in, because the breathing is much improved. How about earth shoes for children? We are started for making a special soul for children, but it is a big responsibility. Any adult, uh, they can probably do very little in the way of harm. In a child, however, with growing bones and growing tendons and muscles, regrettably, there's a lot of harm that can be done. They like their negative heel shoes, but we hope their shoes like them. <laughs> The hunt for the latest fashion continues, with stores promising the latest looks for low prices. So are you getting a good deal or just getting duped? Hi Marketplace, I'm Jennifer Johnson from Oshawa, Ontario, and I feel totally betrayed and misled by winners. Jennifer used to love shopping there. What is it about winners that first attracted you to the store? I'm always in for a bargain. I don't like to pay full price for my clothing, but I still like to be able to have a good selection, and Winners does have a good selection of clothing. Just one look, and I felt so hard. All of the love, all up to 60% less. Winners, find fabulous for less. Fabulous for less? Sounds good. Jennifer thought so too when she went shopping for a pair of pants. The winner's tag said was $29.99, mm -hmm. and on their tag it said compare at $80. Yep, take a closer look. There are two prices on their tags, the winner's price and something called the compare at price. That price tells you how much you're supposedly saving by shopping at winner's, but that's not what Jennifer found. Right next to that tag was the manufacturer's pre-printed tag and the price on that tag was $29.99. So where's the discount in that? That experience made me very indignant, very angry, very frustrated and totally betrayed. Totally betrayed. It was it was out and out false advertising. There's the camera there. You just put it over your shoulder. To test winners compare ad pricing, we're sending in some secret shoppers. Chelsea, Daryl and Melissa work for us and today they're going undercover to do a little price comparison. Okay guys, here we are outside of Winners. Now, here's your mission. We are testing compare app prices, so we'd like for you to go in and do a little bit of price checking for us. Up for the challenge? Yeah. Let's do it. Okay, here's your allowance. One for you and you. Thank you. All right, get to it and good luck. Our testers are looking for big savings. Stamp set, the coloring stamp set from Lois and Doug. So it's $9.99, and the compare app price is 
From clothing, perfume, even toys, they're buying it all. Nautica Light Energy. It's uh, $29.99, it says in there. And uh, compare at $60. Well, they are in store. I'm in New York City, getting the fashion 411 from shopping expert Mark Elwood. The idea of this compare at pricing, what do you make of it? Compare at pricing is one of those tricks that works on the way our brains are structured. When we see two numbers, we instantly look at the higher one and take notice of it. It's called anchor pricing. We see 100, and the minute we see 100 and then 20, we see the difference. Can you trust the numbers you see on the price tags? In Toronto, products in hand, our secret shoppers cash out. And bring all their shopping bags back to CBC to do a little digging. So now that you're here, let's look these products up online and see how much they cost. Our Price Geek squad gets clicking. When you learn the truth, you're gonna want answers. Nobody yeah, in this great big though. building can talk to us today? Get our newsletter, your cheat sheet to the news you need. This is your marketplace. We're taking a close look at winners' price tags to see if you're getting the savings they promise. Our secret shoppers have finished their undercover shopping trip, and now they're looking online to see how accurate compare at prices really are. So, you're searching for the wallet? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to, but I haven't been able to find this model mm. at all. Uh, I'm just looking for this shaver here. Just haven't been able to find the specific one quite yet. In many cases, we can't seem to find the products for sale at other retailers, so we have no idea if these compare ad prices are legit. We do find some products selling at the same price or more expensive than the compare ad price. So I've got the Nautica uh, Life Energy Cologne here. So I found it on Sears, Sears Canada, and it's $60, and compare out with $60 as well. Hey, Charles, see? I yeah. found that risk board game. So we paid $49.99, and winners had their compare at at $100. Okay. And I found it here at FG Bradley's for $74.99. I found another one. It's a Bally Total Fitness Ball, and it is $19.97 at walmart.ca. And we paid $19.99 at winners, and the compare at price was $30. Over and over, our team finds similar products they bought for sale at other retailers cheaper than the winner's compare at price. Winner says the compare at price is a fair assessment, but given our findings, makes you wonder how much you can rely on it. When we're shopping and we see a compare at price, how much trust should we be putting in that tag? Absolutely zero. No trust at all in that compare at price. That could have been plucked from thin air. So it's a clear tactic, no doubt about it. There is a complete tactic to most of the labels in off-price stores. Those words could be elephant cupcake. They mean nothing. But those words meant a lot to Jennifer Johnston. The winner's price on a pair of pants was $29.99. The compare at price, $80. Making her believe she was saving big, but she soon realized that wasn't the case. Good morning, TJ Canada, how may I help you? Now she's calling winners to share her frustration. Can you help explain how you come up with the compare at pricing on your tags? Um, no, actually, it's not. Uh, I wouldn't be able to um, compare at. I guess that's the buyers that would do that, not us. Okay, but it's on your tag. So where where yeah. does the, where does that price come from? Just a moment. I'll put you on hold. When the customer service agent comes back... Yes, okay, uh, I've been told that our buyers uh, will uh, contact other vendors and uh, that sell the same product and compare the prices. And that's how we reach our price. Well, it's just unfortunate that th this is happening and I feel totally lied to. A few days later, in an email to Jennifer, Winner says it was an error. 
Compare ad pricing has landed winner's parent company TJX in hot water. Turns out, in the US, they're being sued for using deceptive comparative prices to trick customers into believing they're saving money on brand name items. We ask winners to come on camera to talk about their compare ad pricing several times, but they say no. So we're going to their head office to see if they'll reconsider. Hello, I'm Carl Siegger from CBC Marketplace. I'm here to see President Doug Mizzy. Hi, Sharon Grace. I have CBC Marketplace here. Someone's going to be right down. Great, thank you so much. Doug Mizzy is TJX Canada's president, but he's a no-show. I'm yeah, recording me right now, are we? We are. I'm Charles Siegger from CBC Marketplace. The only thing I can suggest is to get in touch with Shannon. She'll have some answers for you. So we've tried Shannon several times. This Nobody the in this great big building can talk to us today. The only person I'm aware of that can help is Shannon. We get referred to communications. But they're not taking our call. Canadians are feeling misled by your compare ad pricing, and we'd really like to hear what you have to say about that. No answer. In an email, Winners tells us they stand by their compare ad prices, but say sometimes errors can occur. After sharing our findings with Winners, they say they're going to reticket a few of the products we bought and remove the compare ad price. Makes you wonder why they can't get rid of compare ad prices on all of their products. When you see the words compare ad, ignore them. Put your hand over that higher price and focus just on the cost of the goods. Chances are if it's too cheap to be true, then it probably is. Chances are if it's too cheap, it was made to be cheap. So it can be cute, but it's not a bargain. Oh my God. What could be lurking in that bling? We go all the way to China to find out. He uses cadmium? Yeah. And why? Okay. Cheap. Cheap. And ask Canadian stores why they are selling toxic jewelry to teens. We don't hide, please. Yeah, we heard you. We heard you. I just have to say, though, as a consumer, I, just, as a parent, I don't think you do understand, actually. So I'd like to finish my thought, and then I'll go outside. <laughs>